Okay, so today I have for you a little bit of a tour review, a little bit of a repair video. So I got myself uh, a new little adapter. Um, so I have the older model of the uh, um, TL-866. Uh, so it's not the one with the in-circuit uh, programmer adapter part on there. So I found this on Amazon and figured I'd give it a shot. So let me go ahead and cut this open and we can take a look at what we got here. So... It comes with the in-circuit programming clip. So, got the little clip there for doing it in-circuit. And two little adapters here that uh, I can just take this off and uh, put it on here. So, I thought that was uh, pretty neat there. Uh, just a little, little guy that lets me do the same thing as if it had the in-circuit programmer plug there. So I got the clip, and then it came with another one too, which you can uh, solder on some other, uh, you, get, you just got more options, so you could solder it on, or you could use the plug still, because it looks like it's the same, uh, yep, yeah, it's the same size, so came with two of these, which I think is uh, pretty neat that it came with them both. Uh, I don't really see using this one all that much, unless I just really needed to solder one directly on here to work with. Um, and, yep, got the, the plug here, so uh, we'll be trying to do this, uh, try to see if this works on them, I I've, I've haven't used it yet, it's literally just open the package, um, and see if we can do a odometer correction in circuit and uh, find where it's corrupted in there, at least on this particular chip. I, I, I know they're, they can be corrupted in different spots, um, but we'll, we'll start with uh, seeing what this one does. Here's the connector hooked up you just put the little, little guy on there and you got it so I, I've run into a snag where this particular uh, programmer won't do in circuit programming uh, it, the overcurrent protection kicks on before you can actually get a read off of one of these so got one out of circuit here though just sitting in there to show you that it does work uh, let's pull that up device read and there we go so it'll read it out of circuit there um and if you were to have it in some sort of circuit where there was uh no actual no nothing else drawing against it so let's see looks like i got it on there it's kind of tricky to get this thing on but let's go ahead and see Okay, so 20 tries later, finally get it. Uh, I, I stopped recording for a second and uh, cleaned off the leads on here, and it worked right away, so I just had some dirty leads on there. But yeah, so it, it does work, and it will work in circuit in theory, but um, not really, just not, not with this particular unit. This clip's perfectly fine clip. I just had it dirty. That's why it took me so many tries. Um, but just this particular programmer... Uh, there's no point because uh, the overprotection uh, kicks in uh, before you can actually do really anything in circuit with it. There, there are other models of this made for in circuit programming. It'll probably work fine. I might purchase one in the future. Uh, I was really hoping to do this and actually go through some bins that I'd saved that were corrupt put them on here and see if I can figure out what all was corrupt on it. Like one, I know for sure the odometer mileage was corrupt on it. Uh, there were some other ones where it looked like it was probably the trip that was corrupt, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I don't want to be desoldering and soldering it on and off a bunch to do that. So I was going to try to do some in-circuit programming. Uh, I might look into some other in-circuit programmers and uh, look at those. So. I almost forgot to show the uh, last part of this, so uh, I was using this as my outer, well, my in circuit uh, w one, so I could just show that the clip can still clip onto one of these when it's uh, in the. So let's go ahead and throw it on here. Uh, so pin one is written on there. It's really small, kind of hard to read. So pin one is right here. So we can just throw this guy in here, and 
and read the EEPROM that I soldered on there because it had little solder pads for it. So we'll just go ahead and verify that this one is set up. So this is that same EEPROM, so let me go ahead and clear. All right, device, read, and there we go. We have a good read off of it. So uh, these these ones where you can solder it on work good, and these ones where you have the uh, um, little bed that you set it in work good. Uh, and this works all right for just clipping them uh, when they're out of circuit. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, though, because it's putting a lot of pressure, and it, it, if you catch one of the legs wrong on there, you could probably bend the leg. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend using these out of circuit, So like I did to this one, because uh, after doing it a couple of times, I've definitely uh, bent the legs on it. So this one was junk anyways. It was just in my trash pile. This, this one had previously been a corrupted uh, EEPROM, so uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, this for doing anything out of circuit with, and I wouldn't recommend this for this programmer. Uh, maybe it works better in one of the 4x4s, uh, or the model of this that's actually meant for in-circuit programming, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you liked it.